Hi everyone, this is Paul Schmutzler for Streaming Media Producer. Today I'm bringing you a tutorial and a review of a new plugin for the Mac. This is the Mercalli Stabilization Plugin from ProDAD, a German company. ProDAD has made Mercalli for Windows for a number of years, and they're just now introducing the first Mac version. So the big question is this, why would you buy a stabilization plugin when you've already got an NLE that probably has a stabilization plugin built into it for free? Well, that's the question I asked myself, so I decided to test it out after an invitation came from ProDad, and my initial tests are pretty impressive, and I'm gonna walk you through those here in just a minute. First, let me introduce you to the interface. It is a standalone plugin, which is why you see the SAL acronym at the top of the screen there. It runs outside of any other software independently, which is its biggest strength. You'll start by importing clips by going to the import button up at the top left or just simply dragging clips onto the left column as I've already done here. In the center, you have a large preview of your either source or analyzed clips or a combination of both, as you can see from these options of being able to do split screen. And then at the bottom, you have like a film strip view where you can scrub and set in and out points. On the right is where you adjust any settings that you wanna to change to maximize the stabilization while maintaining the best image quality. So let's jump into it. The top two clips are some cycling footage I got from a good friend of mine, Rob Gillen, who went on a ride a couple of years back with some friends and a GoPro, and he gave me some really terrible bouncy footage to play with, and I'll just show you part of that right now to give you an idea. This one's actually not too bad, because he's not going too quickly, but you can see that all that road vibration is transferring all the way up into the lens, making it pretty bouncy plus the rocking back and forth from him pedaling makes a big difference too. You'll also notice as this other rider comes into the frame, you get a little bit of the, the jello shutter effect, or whatever you like to call it. Um, Mercalli calls it the rolling shutter skew, but you can see some of his frame, his legs, the tires, every once in a while you see them kind of deform in an unnatural way, and that's just simply from the shutter speed of the GoPro. The next clip is essentially more of the same, but it's got a different quality to it. It has a lot more harsh vibration in it, so it's gonna provide more of a challenge for the plugin. The next few clips are all of a waterfall that I shot from a wooden platform where there was a lot of foot traffic on it, and it caused a lot of vibration and shaking in the tripod. You can see on the edges of the frames how the camera's just constantly bouncing around, and there was really no way for me to avoid that, so the best thing I could do was shoot it as steady as I could and then try to fix it later. And then the final clip, trigger warning, there is a snake in this one. If you don't like snakes, don't watch this one. I did get a pretty cool shot of this snake at the waterfall, and I just couldn't pass up getting this clip. It's a very steady clip already, except you'll notice there's just a little bit of a camera movement to it, and I felt like this snake did such a great job posing for me and staying still that I wanted it to be perfect. So I wanted everything to be rock steady in this shot, so I decided to throw the plug in at it and see what it could do. Back to our cycling footage, you'll notice that these two clips are very long, 10 minutes, almost 11 minutes long, and 26 minutes long, respectively. Those are really long clips for anybody to apply one plug into wholesale. So what I did was, I first ran them through my favorite NLE to see what its built-in stabilization would do. You probably know that stabilization plugins first have to analyze the footage. They look at each frame, they determine what moves, and they pick out points that are stable and they try to move, crop, rotate, do whatever they need to to the footage to make it stable in the result. Now, a lot of times that can end up with a pretty bad conglomeration of things. You end up losing a lot of footage because it has to crop so much or it rotates it and looks goofy. Well, my NLE took four and a half hours just to analyze these clips. And also, anytime I wanted to make a change in the settings to that, it would have to do it all over again. Well, that's not efficient, that's not practical. When I ran these same clips through Mercalli, it took 24 minutes. And I can make a lot of changes, basically from the pan shot smoothing on down without having to reanalyze the clip. The exception are the stabilization profile settings up here. You have Action Cam and Intello Universal, which is basically, if you're using an Action Cam or any other camera, those are the settings you wanna start with. And then you can correct for CMOS issues, plus you can correct for a specific camera, which is what I've done here by choosing the GoPro Hero 3. The first clip, I chose not to use the camera profile 
because I wanted to see what kind of a difference it made. So let's watch this clip on a horizontal split screen and you can see right away where the differences are, but I'll play it back so you can see how much of a difference it makes. So it's pretty much night and day. There's quite a bit of zooming going on, but you can start, you can start adjusting things by using these sliders while it's playing back and see what helps. The roll balance is something I really wanted to adjust because of the fact that the cycle bounces back and forth so much. You can also adjust how much of the border will be seen, and then you can choose your priorities, whether you want the best resolution out of your clip or simply the best stabilization. And you don't care if it's kind of grainy or pixelated, you just want it to be steady so you can see something. The next clip, I did choose the camera profile, the GoPro Hero 3, and then I chose the vibration slash wobble CMOS correction because this is the clip that had a ton of road vibration in it. So I wanted to see how it would do with that. So again, this is the source, and here's the split screen. So you can see in this case, it may have been too much for the plugin to really be able to take care of. And I tried adjusting some of these settings, some of these sliders to see if it got any better. I couldn't really get a whole lot better than it did already. So in some cases, it's best to just leave it alone. But moving on to these waterfall clips, it did a fantastic job of stabilizing these. Again, here's the source. You can see the wobble at the edge of the frame. Now watch as I change this to a vertical split screen, how much the one on the right stays steady. Now while you pan, it's very hard to see, but wait till it gets to the bottom. You'll notice where the waterfall is split in half in the center. The left side is kind of bouncing around. The right side doesn't move at all. So it did a great job on this clip. You'll also notice that this is a great candidate to try out the pan smoothing. If I back up here before the pan starts, you can see as I adjust that, it basically zooms in more or less to help straighten out that pan. These two next clips are pretty similar in that they have a lot of wobble in them. That's just the analyzed clip, so it's nice and steady. And then this one actually was very problematic as well. This is the original. Again, look at the frame, the edge of the frame. You'll see a lot of movement there. The analyzed clip is actually a little worse. And the reason for that, I think, is because there's so much going on here. There's so much water just cascading down that, that the plugin is having a hard time finding what's supposed to be stable and therefore how to make changes to fix it. And then finally, the snake clip, my favorite. Again, the source. Quite stable, but you can see the stick is moving around. If I do a vertical, you can see that the stick on the right is now stabilized to virtually no movement. Horizontal, you can actually see the snake's head divided and see where he's moving and where he's not moving. So that's the Mercalli plugin from ProDad, a new plugin available for the Mac operating system. It's a fantastic product. It's not perfect, but no plugin is and it will work much more efficiently than your built-in stabilization software. You can get it now for an introductory price of $119, and that goes through August 31st. After that, the MSRP is $149.